You have entered the Plumbing Business Success Zone, teaching entrepreneurs the business of plumbing. This is Potty Talk Live, recorded live every week. Turn on notifications to never miss an episode. Now your host, Richard Bainey, the Million Dollar Plumber. Hey, 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 plumbing pros, welcome to the 310th episode of Potty Talk Live. Hey there, I'm your host, Richard Bainey, the Million Dollar Plumber, along with my co-host, the lovely Laura, where we're talking the business of plumbing. And boy, do we have a great one in store for you tonight. Uh-huh. I can't wait to get to this one, all right? It's, it's the first of a four-part series, all right? The MDP Mindset, all right? We're going to bring it. Hey, great to have you here. Great to have you here, baby. Thank you, honey. Hey, all right. Frankie. All right. Hey, everybody's checking in, all right? In fact, we have our title here. Tonight's episode is How to Be a Plumbing CEO. Okay, so we're going to get to it. We're going to bring it, all right? We'll be talking about how to be a plumbing business CEO. But everyone's checking in. Let's. Thank you, right. DW got busted. He was doing a little thing on the side or whatever it was uh, had a little meeting or whatever hey you're supposed to be on the (laughs) right okay all right hey but if you're watching live (laughs) let us know that you're watching live with us that you're part of the live social audience type live in the comments Mm -hmm. if you're watching the replay please type replay let us know that you caught it and if you're listening to the podcast you know what to do Mm -hmm. just keep on listening all right kathy's joining us live all right chris all right good to have you here so um we want to make sure you guys share this share potty talk live so right now just hit the little share button at the bottom um so you can share with all your friends because everybody would want to watch potty talk live hey you miss an episode of potty talk live you're gonna die all right (laughs) the babe is live all right that's great all right babe plumbing that's right hey joseph um, All right. Okay. Good. So happy Good. Monday. Baby. Happy Monday. I know. Today's yeah. one. Of, you ever had one of those days where you're just going like a hundred mile an hour? It. I'm going to say it live to that person. Hey, I'm, GB. Welcome. I know Good he's to see from you, South brother. Africa, but I don't know how to pronounce his name. So hello to South oh, Africa. Our, our South African mates here. Mm-hmm. All right. Yep, Good to have GB. you here. Mm-hmm. All right. But it's, I, it's like I, I did mm-hmm. like going a hundred angel hundred mile an hour today. Say but hi it's like. To Hey, Miss Blevins. Mm-hmm. Just call me Angel <laughs> of the Morning. Goodness, he's got a song baby. for everything. But uh, mm-hmm. I feel like I haven't done anything mm-hmm. today. You know, it's hey, like I, I look back and it's like, what what I do today? We did. We had a lot. I mean, nothing, we did a lot. We had a lot of nothing done. I know, but it's like, <laughs> what do we do? You ever oh, had those days? Danny. Danny, oh, oh we just had... <laughs> Danny and, Danny and Thais were in town, yeah. as well as Ted and Mickey Thompson. Teddy, oh, um, had a great time with Ted yes, and Mickey, too. And Elizabeth Fox, Fox Plumbing. Um, and, and Danny and, and their daughter. Back today. Yes. Um, back to New Era Plumbing. Yes. Drake it. Loved hanging out. Right? Yes, loved Just, hanging out um, with you guys. So fun. They're you know, probably we are, just getting ready for the plane, I'm assuming. Oh, yeah, because so, they got so. had a later flight. Yes, we had you a know, great time with them this, this week. Very fun. We but are lucky. We are you're very blessed. We have a good um, time. Sign up via text messages right now. All you have to do is type text in the comments to get a notification when we go live. Yes. So you never miss an episode of Potty Talk Live. Just never. type text and magically a little text message will, will appear. You get notified. There's nothing else to, worth watching. On Monday night, there's right. nothing. Okay. Ain't no thing. So join us here mm-hmm. if you're serious about growing your plumbing business. Mm-hmm. PPS uh, live for the third time in South Africa. All okay. right, good to have so, you here, brother. Uh, PPS, that's what we'll call I'm you. Glad now. you're here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, yes, he did get the dishes done. Thanks, Chris. Did you did you yes. bust me doing? Didn't bust you. I, I mean, like, I, that's exactly. I what don't know if the, the million dollar plumber language. should be seen doing the doing the dishes. Uh, absolutely, because that's the million Mrs. Million Dollar Plumber's love language. The lovely Laura so. beats me. <laughs> 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 you wish. Uh, let's see, Ricky I, said, sorry, I've been missing. I like when she ties uh, me up. And, <laughs> I'm, I'm missing action. We finally started to slow that. down. No, I didn't. Yeah. I'm ignoring you. I uh, finally started to slow down in Oklahoma after the big freeze. Isn't that crazy? That Oklahoma and Texas both had this big crazy. freeze. So, yes, I'm sure um, you guys were crazy first with mm-hmm. frozen pipes and then burst. Um, All right. <laughs> w said he loves him. It's a million dollar plumber. <laughs> I love you too, brother. <laughs> <laughs> um, so anyway, we had a great visit this week with the clients in town. Got to go on the boat. And yeah, had a great time. Do all kinds of fun stuff. Hung out. Them. You mm-hmm. know, it's just we love everything in sight. This yes. is the problem with clients uh, coming into town because I mean they're on vacation, it's so they killer. want to eat like they're on vacation. But man, oh man. Man, I'm not going to oh. get to that uh, naughty body if I'm <laughs> doing eating everything naughty. I know, so we just can't eat you again know? until. Clients come. Until the next client, right. water. That's it. Water. That's all we're having. Bread. Right no, no, no bread. No bread. No bread. No bread. Just, bad. just water. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. So, well, it's good. But we had a great time. We did. I love it. Mm-hmm. You know, it's like, 
a little, you know, a little sad when things go. Oh, when they leave. Yeah. When they leave us because yep. it's like family. Mm-hmm. So, all right. Um, I took it out is the weird, trash. It is, weird, that it is weird that way. Yes, of course. It, it, that's Kimberly's love language. If, that, if that's her if love language. If that's language. her love language, <laughs> then it counts. Matt hey. and Dylan, they can't hear. With, I'm so right. crying right. babies. Yeah. Stop having babies. There's right. an easy solution to that. <laughs> <laughs> just a season, man. It's that's just a season. Right. That's right. Yeah, the uh, romance starts in the kitchen. I learned that. That's right. Mm-hmm. The romance starts in the kitchen. That's right. So yes. I love picking up the. Uh, you do a really good uh, job. You know, that, so. so. Mm-hmm. All right. All what right. are we talking about tonight? What well, here. We're, well, our, oh, we're going to talk about. Question. Yeah, right. but we're going to talk about how to be a plumbing business CEO. CEO. Okay. But a question here is mm-hmm. here that we have is why did you start your plumbing business? Why? Let us know. Why? 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 Why, why did you why start did your you plumbing start business? Okay. Mm-hmm. So let us know. Mm-hmm. Why did you start your plumbing business? And it may be even different from what your why is now, but what yeah. was the main reason? What was the, the precipice to starting your, your plumbing business? I think mine was I got fired, so I had to come up with some kind of money. <laughs> I think that was I think I got right. I was, I'm that guy. I always got, uh, uh, I always made. Mm-hmm. You always made oh, waves. Always made, yeah. And <laughs> made I'm just not meant to work for anyone. No. And not. I think I did. I think I got fired. I said, well, I got to. <laughs> I'll show, I'll show them. All right. <laughs> That's right. How hard can it be? Yeah, right. <laughs> How uh. hard can this plumbing business thing be? Mm. Um, and Joseph said, I was laid off and desperate. Yes. Desperation so, sometimes. That's um, how, is a, right. Is a key motivator, right? Yeah. Um, That's right, Richard. Says, mm-hmm, thanks, GB. Oh, I mean, he's, are you agreeing? I think GB's wise. I think he's agreeing with that the, the romance starts in the kitchen. Oh, yes. That's what he's because agreeing Because I, I know that GB gets that stuff. Yes. He, you know. He's a wise man. Yep. Mm-hmm. So okay. why did you start your plumbing business? Guys? Yeah, Let's why did you start it. your plumbing what business? What was the reason? Um, hey, Lenny. Hey, Lenny. Good right to have now. you here live, brother. Mm, nice and live. Huh. Um, yeah, most a lot of guys will start their plumbing business, um, for one, because they want to make the money themselves. Right. Right? That, that's a biggie we hear. Mm-hmm. Want to make the, you know, I can do a better job. Right. Right. And freedom. Right. Freedom. Freedom is always a big one, right? So why do what do we have? Did anyone type in yet? Yeah, what what, what do we guys, have? I'm looking for comments here. Why did you start your plumbing business? What was the main reason right. um, that you started it? I think, uh, yeah, Joseph was uh, pretty transparent there. That, that's really good. You know, mm-hmm. that's, a, that's a good reason. That, I think that's why I was. I mean, we just had Mallory was just born, mm-hmm. and I got, got fired for mm-hmm. my job for standing up for, mm-hmm. uh-huh. yeah, not wearing the mask, <laughs> you know? <laughs> uh, Ricky said so that I could retire. So you can retire. Okay, so poor, How's that working out for you, man? Yeah. <laughs> he looks young. He looks you know, really, right. really, really young. So, um, boss's kids syndrome. Uh, uh, love Tim, my old that, boss couldn't stand his kids. Uh, that, that's the thing. We get yeah. a new, you know, new leadership comes into play, mm-hmm. and it's like I'm out of here. Right. I want to be free to do bigger things. Yep. Oh yeah. Oh. Mm-hmm. Okay. We hear that with a lot. Mm, okay. Freedom. Right. Freedom. Okay. You create your own, your own destiny. Mm-hmm. Well, that's an important reason why you started your plumbing business. Yes. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right. Right, the housing crash. Oh, Mikey. Yep. Wow, you started a plumbing business during the housing crash. Huh. Whoa. Okay. He is a brave guy. Yep. I wanted to be my own boss. Yep. Mm-hmm. That's, that's a biggie. Yep. That's a biggie. So, an entrepreneur mindset, mm-hmm. want, you know, you want to be in, uh, in control, more control of your life. Some guys Think about, like you just cannot work for someone. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm a good worker. I, I mean, I, I showed, I mean, it wasn't a bunch of drama, mm-hmm. but I was always interested in everything. Right. And so you get a guy that's holding on to the jobs or the other leadership, they get nervous. Mm-hmm. And that's why I made, I made, I made managers nervous, mm-hmm. like I was going to take their job or something because right. it looked good, you know, doing the work. And mm-hmm. I was always asking questions. And so, <laughs> okay, I heard someone say you, uh, you can't fly with eagles if you're hanging out with turkeys. That's Jeff, right. Jeff, and right. if you own your own plumbing business, you are an right. eagle. You are an eagle. Mm-hmm. All right. Company I worked for mm-hmm. uh, for 28 years, locked their door. Mm-hmm. So I had to. Had a shot to start up. Um, with, oh, with a nice client list. Because, all right. Yeah. Yeah. There we Way go. to go, Jeff. Okay. Mm-hmm. So you, you got that. So mm-hmm. you, you took the client list and mm-hmm. you went to town. Mm-hmm. All right. Yeah, because they got to go somewhere. Right? Yep. Yep. So, all right. I um, got laid off to tell um, everyone, and nine years later, I'm in business. I'm still in business. Got laid off. Way to go, Chris. Mm-hmm. Yep. Oh, nice. All right. Good for um, you. I wonder- <laughs> I want to work 80 plus hours a week. No, no, I know. That, that's the thing we get into. And that, and that is the. the You're funny, Bo. Right, thank you, Bo. That, that is the, the rude awakening. Mm-hmm. You know, we get into the same kind of thing. Well, I'll just do it myself. Freedom. Right. And we get into it and we find out there's, there's a whole lot more going on. Like business. Like business. Right, exactly. So, all right. Okay. Hey, so this is the first part 
mm-hmm. of a four-part series. We're going to talk about the MDP mindset. I think okay? we're going to do four-part sermon ser- series. I know, I know. That. <laughs> okay, and this one's how to be a plumbing CEO. That's right. Okay. So how, the how MDP to, mindset. That's the, the MD, series. MDP mindset. Yes. You know, we talk about this, um, you know, all the time that really, you know, like with, you know, with our academy and, you know, our, our clients and that kind of thing. And, and the fact that it's good that we, we get to spend time with, with our clients, our mm-hmm. private clients, it's not so much talking about the business stuff, mm-hmm. really about the successful business. The things you need to do is really about 20% of it. Mm-hmm. The 80% is what goes on up here. It's a mindset. Yep. That's where most fail yes. is the mindset. Not that they aren't good plumbers mm-hmm. or, um, you know, don't care, don't write whatever. that kind yeah. of thing. Mm-hmm. It, it's the mindset on, right. on how we think of ourselves, mm-hmm. okay, and, and that kind of a thing. Mm-hmm. So um, that MDP, Million Dollar Plumber Mindset. mindset. So we're going we're gonna to cover that here in the next, uh, next four episodes. Okay. But tonight, the yes. first part, we're talking about how to be... Um, um, how, how to be a plumbing business CEO. How to be, okay. okay all right. Mm-hmm. Which leads to, thank you, Sparky. So Spark, Sparky's moving me along. <laughs> Not only am I being managed by the lovely Laura, <laughs> now I got this young punk. <laughs> He's a punk. <laughs> I think Sparky's Sparky. a punk. I'm I love you. I love my little brother. <laughs> um, but um, number one, <laughs> okay, I know. <laughs> right. Push, it. push, push me along. <laughs> Is to speak it, mm-hmm. okay? How to be a plumbing business CEO, mm-hmm. you need to speak it. Mm-hmm. I like how you you kind of um, whittled it down, okay, mm-hmm. simplified it. I like what, you know, one of the first things you'll ask our clients. What, oh. what, what do you ask? What do you ask? Sure, when we, for, when we meet with our clients, yeah. and I think we even say this in the academy, yep. um, when you meet someone for the mm-hmm. first time, and most of the time when you say, what's your name or whatever, and people usually ask, so what do you do for a living, right? Right. Um, we find that most of our clients, when they come to us, the answer to that question is they'll say, well, I'm a plumber. And we're like, you own your own plumbing business. You're not a plumber anymore. You are a CEO. Um, right. And so speaking that out. So we really challenge our clients that from that moment on, anytime someone asks you, what do you do for a living? You say, um, I'm a CEO. I'm a CEO. Right. And All right. Not, and then they'll probably ask you what kind of business it is. And you can say, I own my own plumbing business. And then you don't follow it up by saying, but, you know, it's just a small just, business. It's just me it's and just I'm another guy. And I'm Right, that kind of thing. Again, we're getting back to mindset. Right. Yes. Okay. All right. Yes, we're talking. Speak it. Right. Um, into existence. Right? Ex- exactly. And then, and then live that. Right. You're a CEO. You're exactly. A CEO. You created your own business. All right. Right. I mean, that always. Okay. Uh, I always try to get that across to our clients when, when they first start working with us is really think about it. There was nothing and then you created it. And so it, you, it wasn't there before you did it. And, right? now, and, that's, n- and now most you people don't do that. Right. That most people do not do that. So right. that's an eagle. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. You're up there, you're up there soaring. Okay. Mm-hmm. So you need to speak it. And another thing that, that we do, you know, we get into about the idea of, I talk about your, your daily GPS. Mm-hmm. Okay. For those mm-hmm. in the Academy, know what I'm talking about or whatever mm-hmm. of, of writing down daily, you know, um, you know, not necessarily, not necessarily goals, no. but it's who you are, right. you know, or what you, you, what you're going to achieve. So you may not be a 10 truck company yet, mm-hmm. but you say in a positive, manner, I have a 10 truck plumbing company, right. that kind of a thing. Mm-hmm. But key to that exercise mm-hmm. every morning, mm-hmm. I've, I've done it every morning for years, mm-hmm. did it this morning, mm-hmm. okay? Is that once you write it out, mm-hmm. you speak it out. Out loud. Okay, out loud. Mm-hmm. There's power in speaking it out. Right. I mean, that, that's how the universe was created. When God created the universe, he spoke it mm-hmm. into being when he created, when he created the, you know, uh, you know, the earth, mm-hmm. you know, and everything with it and in it and on it, whatever, yep. you know, above it. He mm-hmm. spoke it in the being. Right. Okay. The, the, that, is, that is just one of those things. You don't have to understand that. Mm-hmm. All right. Just like I don't, you know, exactly understand how gravity works. But mm-hmm. you fall off, you know, it's a, it's a law of the universe. Mm-hmm. You step off a cliff, you're going to drop. You're going to fall. Okay. Daryl says, get you, your mind right and um, in the right, can you see that, um, place takes practice. You have right. to be intentional about your thought. Dub, that's really good. D-W. That. Mm-hmm. You that, be that's wise right there. Yes, you got to be intentional the about key it. Keyword intentional. Mm-hmm. Got to be intentional, which right. means you, because um, it's easy to not do that because your day can kind of get away from you or, or DW, whatever. I hope you don't mind. DW is a great example. When, when we first met him, I mean, he was wearing, um, well, well, we'll get into that, but the whole mindset, he looked, it was a plumber mindset. Yes. Mm-hmm. He, he ain't a plumber. He, he ain't a plumber. No plumber. plumber. He ain't no plumber. Mm-hmm. He's probably one of the best plumbers out there. Mm-hmm. I mean, he's had a lot of dues, mm-hmm. but he's all, he's business. He's business. That comes from change, you know, 
changing his mind. What, how, how you look at things, mm-hmm. okay, and then speaking these things out. Yep. Okay, so, so speak it out loud. Speak it out loud. I am a CEO. I am a CEO, okay? Correct. Start looking at yourself that way. Mm-hmm. All right? Okay. All right? Number two. Uh, number two. 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 All right? <laughs> Clothes make the man. Yeah, this one is You ever heard that saying? Uh-huh. I know. Did you make that up? Yeah, sure. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Clothes make the man. Mm-hmm. Okay. So what does that mean? Okay. Starting to dress the part. Okay. okay. No longer wearing the, the plumbing, the plumbing clothes. Even if you're still in the truck, wear a different uniform. Yeah, especially the, a different the, uniform than what your guys are Than wear. what the guys are, mm-hmm. are wearing. Yeah, it's get okay. polo or, or something that, okay. that makes you stand out a little bit more. Okay. Mm-hmm. You're out of the truck or doing out of the truck things. Get rid of wearing the, the work boots and the jeans or you know that that kind of stuff mm-hmm. okay or when you're in the office you know maybe you're in still one foot in the truck and, well, and one right. foot in the office when you're in the office don't have the plumbing uniform up have something else that makes you feel like a business owner right mm-hmm. okay now i'm not saying you got to get all suited up and tie i mean i didn't want to you know i did suit and all yeah and all yeah. that all that kind of stuff you mm-hmm. still can find you know your groove mm-hmm. okay you know i i love um you know what well, we just mentioned that ted and mickey mm-hmm. were in town okay mm-hmm. ted and, mickey and, and they are just yep. salt of the earth great people top hat plumbing top hat plumbing mm-hmm. I mean, he shared with me when he got when he got married he wore you know a real nice you know cowboy Mm-hmm. You know, shirt and mm-hmm. jeans or whatever. That's great. You be who you are. Right. Okay. Mm-hmm. But it's so important to be different, to set yourself apart from the the front line guys. Or, okay. And, or from even, the, again, maybe being a plumber. Right. Even if it's still you in the truck, doing things even outside. Once work's over, put something different on other than the regular the regular clothes. Um, uniform. Like they wear. He wears a top hat. I mean, mm-hmm. so it's their personality right. and that kind of stuff and but cool top. You know, if it's khakis and different kind of shoes or something, it can still be boots, but just not work boots and not um, work pants and a work shirt. Something different that makes you feel like a business owner. Right. Exactly. Mm-hmm. You know. So we see you know, like our it's, guy. It's mental. Oh. We had we had um, one client. We won't say the name. They may. I don't know if they're on. Uh, but we had him burn. His, kind of, because it was really a big deal to kind of give up that because um, it's what he's always been. It's an identity. It, it, it traps good, you in yeah. with that identity of, mm-hmm. of being a plumber. Look, if you want right. to be a plumber, there's nothing wrong with being a plumber. Of course. If you, if you want to be a plumber, but you, you hear me say, go, go, go be a plumber for another company. Right. But you've made a choice to start a plumbing business. Right. And the so business, like the word business trumps plumbing. Right. Okay. So you need to act like it. Right. You're okay. And you say, well, they can just accept me the way I am. Mm-hmm. Well, no, no, it doesn't, doesn't work that way. Works. Okay. Yep. Um, I've right. been wearing nice and clothes. It actually helps keep me um, from going out to a job. <laughs> <All right, Joe>. <laughs> um, <laughs> don't want to wreck those nice jeans and then I can't see the rest of it. But good for you. Melissa's right. encouraging him, I'm sure, to, to not do that. And that's true, right? right? I mean, so you feel, and you just feel better. And you have something a little bit nicer on and you're like, okay, well, I'm not going to go out there and start digging right. a, a ditch. Okay. Now, of course, if you need to. Then that's what we have to do for you know whatever, but try not to. Right. Mm-hmm. Hey, even when I was back in, you know, you know, we went through '08, and we were, I've shared with you before, you know, not everything goes, you know, up and up and up, and sometimes you got to do what you got to do. And I'm back, like I'm back in the van. Everything crashed. Right when everything yeah. crashed, everything and crashed. even though we had, you know, lost half our guys, but mm-hmm. I was still back. You know, I went back <laughs> in the van to get, um, you know, whatever to make my own he did money. Burn his car hearts. Um, I, I wore I wore the the Attaboy uniform, mm-hmm. but mine was all embroidered. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mine was yeah, a little nicer. Uh, embro- you know, it was mm-hmm. nicer than what the other guys were wearing. Right. Okay, it's, you know, just it's out. more of a mind game to remind me that I this isn't where I belong. Right, I I can I've done that. Mm-hmm. I paid my dues or whatever, right. but that's just not where I belong. Right. Okay, and you also want to make sure that you do stand out from the guys. Um, right. So if you're not in the truck anymore, you you don't want to. If, if if here's a good point mm-hmm. that I just came up with, <laughs> if you want. Um, if someone walked into your office and your all your crew was there and you were there, would they be able to tell who is the the business owner? Right. Or would it just look like everybody's a, the plumber? If the answer to that is everybody looks like a plumber, you're wearing the wrong thing. Right. You're wearing the wrong thing. Right. You, you have to stand out. You have to be separate. It's, you're not buddies with your plumbers. You you're not right. buddies. You have to you have to separate it. And one way to separate it is by what you wear. Right. You know, cl- clothes make the man. Mm-hmm. I mean, it is it is that simple. People mm-hmm. judge a book by its cover. Period. I I know we're working on a society where we're even, mm-hmm. you know, we're even getting rid of Dr. Seuss. I you know, and I mean, all about. this cancel oh, culture my. bull crap. Yeah, mm-hmm. you know, and we're trying to make it all safe. The reality it will never it will never be that way. Mm-hmm. All right, people judge a book by its cover, and they have their opinions. Mm-hmm. 
So if you go into, um, well, I, I know that I, you know, I remember when, when I got one of my first, uh, my, my, one of my first plumbing jobs when I was a plumber, I actually wore the, their uniform and I wore it clean and pressed, and pressed it. I mean, that mean <laughs> pressed it means I ironed it every morning. Okay. And mm-hmm. so I looked clean and sharp. Mm-hmm. I wasn't even, I wasn't even a licensed plumber yet. I was an apprentice mm-hmm. and I got my own truck. Before you're other all, guys, you're all clean and shiny. because uh, yes, I could do the work. Maybe not. I wasn't as good as other guys, mm-hmm. but I looked the part. I mean, it's just mm-hmm. there's something that happens that way. Mm-hmm. All right, when you go to the bank and you're asking for money, don't go there looking like death warmed over. Or yeah, with dirty, right. crappy boots on. Right. Like, who knows well, they can take me it. as I am. Well, they will take you as you are and say, "I ain't going to give you any money." Denied. You're right. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, it, it's just, it's just how it is. Yeah, and also, plumbing okay. business owners, if you are involved in like any BNI group or local community chamber right. of commerce or anything like that, and they have their meetings, don't wear your plumbing uniform. uniform. If you need to, if you are in the truck all the time and you have to go to the meeting, you know, have in between a- jobs. Have a clean set of clothes that aren't plumbing uniforms in your truck so you can change into that and walk in. Right. That, you know, I remember, I remember when I was still in the truck and mm-hmm. we went to those kinds of things. Mm-hmm. I was trying to learn, you know, this kind of stuff. Where mm-hmm. I met my mentor that actually taught me business. Mm-hmm. I was still in the truck, mm-hmm. okay, before I became a million-dollar, you know, b- business mm-hmm. or whatever. By being with these other CEOs or business leaders, mm-hmm. that, that's what compelled me, you know, move up. But, I, up. but I'd go to those meetings mm-hmm. and I'd wear khakis which you won't catch me in khakis a day that's an old <laughs> but that was different than wearing the plumbing you know but yes. khakis mm-hmm. and had a white shirt that had attaboy all yes i mean Logan so it looked important. looked more executive right, right. Mm-hmm. you know um, no glue and primer stains yeah. <laughs> exactly right exactly right mm-hmm. clean and fresh right joseph there we go all clothes right do make the man. clothes make the man mm-hmm. all right so go it's kind of fun um even we have some of our clients here even a couple on are talking about even the car they're driving the truck they've gone mm-hmm. out and gotten their CEO, CEO truck, CEO truck or vehicle. Mm-hmm. Okay, there's just something about that, guys. It's a mindset, mm-hmm. and so when you start seeing yourself that way, and and doing and speaking out that way, it, all of a sudden you it's lifting your business up. You right. start headed that you. way. Mm-hmm. I see. Jeff says when I dress for success, people tell me all the time, "You don't look like a plumber." I t- I'm a small business owner. Good for you, Jeff. Right on, Jeff. Mm-hmm. Right on, yep. right on. Mm-hmm. You know. From that, now on, Jeff, you're not going to say small business owner. You're going to say, I'm a CEO. Right. Because that is what that, you are. That is what you are. That is your, your responsibility. Mm-hmm. All right. So, All right. And that's what, that's what you're doing. So mm-hmm. there we go. Yes. All right. Love that. Okay. Yeah, it's always good when someone says, well, you don't look like a plumber. Yeah. That's usually a good sign. Right. Hey, it was a rough. I mean, you could be. You can get dirty. But right, right, right. Whatever. Then, but yeah. Clean up before your next right, job, clean up. or right. certainly before right. the next day. Well, I'm the CEO. Mm-hmm. All right. Yeah, I've done I've done plumbing. I'm proud to be a plumber. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. Um, but because plumbers do protect the health of the nation. Yeah, they do. Yeah, we do. Mm-hmm. All right. Hey, for joining us and for listening, I have something for you. Mm-hmm. All right, my million dollar plumber blueprint. Mm-hmm. All right, all the specs you need to know to have a successful, self-sustaining, and profitable plumbing business. Mm-hmm. I laid it out all in there, very simply for you. Okay. And it's free. All right. Simply type free in the comments or go to the million dollar plumber dot com forward slash free and grab your free copy mm-hmm. today. Okay. All right. Mm-hmm. So there we have it. All, All right. right. Number one. MVP mindset. Man, all right. How to all be right. a plumbing business CEO. Right? Speak it. All right. Speak it. Mm-hmm. Say it. Is this why I'm a, out loud. You know, put, it, put on your card, mm-hmm. you know, that kind of, you know, Ooh, that's, your, that's your business good, card. Yeah. All right. Business, yeah. If you've got business cards, which you should. Um, put right. on their CEO. Okay. Instead of plumber. Or All right. Speak mm-hmm. it out, okay? Mm-hmm. Clothes make the man. Dress like it. Dress for success. You ever heard that? Dress for success. Mm-hmm. All right. Hey, some of these things sound, you know, kind of cliche. There's but, a reason why say, some sayings are things, <laughs> right? Because right? it is. Cause you true. know? All right. They're true statements. All right. Okay. A bird in the hands worth two in the bush. Okay. <laughs> All right. Six All right. of one, half dozen of the other. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, six dozen of one. So what? Half of that divided by. What if it's a oh. baker dozen? Uh, okay. Well, baker's dozen. Yeah, All right. It doesn't count. So how's the math work on I that? Don't know. All right. Carry the one across. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. And finally, <laughs> number three, the piece de resistance. <laughs> like you never heard this one before. Mm-hmm. <gasps> It ain't about plumbing. <laughs> All right. Well, what I know. What does that have to do with the million dollar plumber mindset? And, and being, and being uh, a CEO. Being a CEO. Mm-hmm. It isn't 
Okay, mm-hmm. it okay. ain't. I like like where I come it from. Ain't. We say ain't. We it don't ain't. say isn't. Mm-hmm. I know. I was tried to when we first started speaking that and we write that out remember we'd have our editor you know that yeah. kind of stuff say well it isn't no i'm no, where i'm from we, we say ain't it ain't about plumbing okay it ain't about plumbing <laughs> okay all right well what do you mean in this in okay this, um, your focus history. is not with the plumbing business ceo okay it's not about the plumbing yeah. i mean we i still hear you know the guys getting wrapped up in all the code and all that you know all that but that's not your driven you know that's not what you're about yeah. okay if you want to still be all up on the code and all in the you know the latest equipment and and techniques and all the stuff and the yeah. gear and that all that kind of crap okay then go be a plumber for someone yeah. okay as a plumbing business ceo your job is the business okay it ain't about it has nothing to do with plumbing okay well i don't know about business or i'm not that kind of guy well learn right neither am i okay (laughs) it doesn't mean you got to go i don't i ain't sitting behind a desk well i didn't want to sit behind a desk either Mm -hmm. that's why i got in trouble all the time that's true where's richard gone lovely lord be looking for me (laughs) i'd be at the track Uh the racetrack or at the airport (laughs) And they're yeah, you know, going off the hook and okay. hair's on fire. All right. Mm-hmm. But Thanks, it's Ricky. Not, okay. You are a CEO. Yeah, you are, brother. That's right, Ricky. Okay. Good for you. And so I'm not saying you gotta sit behind a desk and have a bit, you know, on you know be that that's not And look at numbers all day. Right. That's not what it's about. Okay. You ooh. can you can do it in, in your your style, right. all right? Mm-hmm. But but it's about the business. Mm-hmm. Okay, about the business. You're focusing on the things that will move the business, this asset that you're working on for. You you know that's that's the whole you know the whole MDP mindset, mm-hmm. okay. The million dollar plumber mindset is all about the freedom lifestyle, okay. So how do we create a business? How do we create this asset that we have that allows us to live the lives that we want to live, okay, right. and live live our lives on our terms, mm-hmm. all right, and to create real wealth, wealth being financial wealth mm-hmm. and time wealth, okay. <laughs> Learning how to use a printer and send an email is the hardest thing about being a plumber <laughs> business owner. Yeah, brother, D.W., I think you were saying, I know, I know. <laughs> and that's all right. Look, that's, guys, that's why I say it. <laughs> and I mean this. If you watch this, you know, who is this guy? He thinks he's all that. No, I don't think I'm. First of all, I don't think I'm all that. Mm-hmm. I've just made every mistake. <laughs> but, but, and, and, I, and I still to this day have trouble. I, I can't get the printer to work. Even with the, earlier today with, <laughs> with the computer, I was like, sweetheart. Sweetheart. You know? Exit okay. strategy. Exactly yes. right, Daryl. Exactly. Every business should have an extra st- right. exit strategy, even right. if you never want to sell. Well, exactly. Well, business is set up to sell, mm-hmm. to, to exit, even, even if you don't want to. But, but, you know, I just wanted to say that, again, if I can do it, I get it, guys. I get it. <laughs> I get, you know, the idea of not just being, you know, technically, technically, technically. minded, mm-hmm. you know, and that kind of thing. Well, baby, you can't be perfect Okay. But you can learn it. You've you got to make it part, mind. you know, and you don't have to be an expert at everything. You don't. It's not about being an expert. Did you hear what I said? What? <laughs> I said you can't be perfect at everything. Yeah? Mm-hmm. I'm not? But technology. You said you had what? trouble with technology, so I said you can't What am I perfect, perfect at? Everything else. Yeah. <laughs> Did you hear that? All right. I need some I, words of affirmation. I God. still got it. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Sorry. What were you saying? You were saying something really smart, and I cut you off. Hey, baby. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> All right. Uh, no, you just you don't have to be an expert mm. at everything, okay? Right. But you just need to guide and direct it. Mm. You, that, that is now your focus. And and I, I get it. You know, the plumbing, um, you know, when I was in the truck and could walk on a job site, I own it. You know, I'm, you know I, I could figure things out. Right. It was confidence. Mm-hmm. You know, yeah, get out of my do. way, Sparkies. Mm-hmm. You know, HVAC, HVAC got, you know, <laughs> I mean, I, I could talk with all the guys. Mm-hmm. I could do, you know, mm-hmm. you know, whatever. Okay. And, and own the job site. Mm-hmm. Um, and so there's a comfort level there. All right. Sure. And so when we got into the business, it's like, that's not comfortable. You know, and you mentioned I'm a words of affirmation guy. You are. Well, I don't want to put myself in a, a situation where I don't know what the heck's going on. Mm-hmm. But, you, you know, it is your responsibility as the plumbing business mm-hmm. CEO all right, to know what's going on. Yes. And it's not about the plumbing. Mm-hmm. You know, these guys, you know, the focus on the job, what Joe's doing on the job. Mm-hmm. I, the only reason you'll be checking up on Joe is why hasn't he moved yet? He's doing a water heater. He's mm-hmm. been there three hours. Why hasn't he moved? Mm-hmm. Time is money. Not, well, let me get out there and help him. Let me maybe give him another set of hands. I mean, I'll show him how to do it right, you know? <laughs> no, it's not. If you're thinking that way, you're going to fail. Right. Can't scale okay. that. Can't right. scale it. Can't scale that. Mm-mm. Certainly not, not with the... Uh, for the freedom lifestyle. Right. 
Okay. Okay. So so there we go. All right. So Million Dollar Plumber Mindset. We, we've got some other series coming up on right. how to, to get to that. To the Million Dollar. Uh, freedom Lifestyle, right? Right. To the Freedom Lifestyle. Mm -hmm. Hey, and if you're serious about, if that's what you're looking for, the Freedom Lifestyle, mm -hmm. okay? okay? If that's something you, you want, all right? And you're wanting, of, yeah. you're wanting to create. the Freedom Lifestyle. Right. With your plumbing business and, mm -hmm. and looking to uh, create real wealth, okay? Create financial security, mm -hmm. all right? And creating the time, the time that you can do right. what you want to do. Time is wealth as okay? well. Oh, and it, mm -hmm. right, even yes. more so today. Absolutely. Okay, mm -hmm. then you need to check out my Million Dollar Plumber Business Success Academy. All right, everything in there that you need to know. All right, we run through everything, everything. To, to have a successful plumbing business that will create that freedom lifestyle for you. Look, you have two choices. You can either continue to do the stupid stuff you're doing. <laughs> I'm just I'm gonna lay it out Lovingly there for said. you. Okay, continue to do what they say about insanity. You know, do, um, doing the same thing over and over and, over, and, over. Okay. and expecting different results. Right. right. You can continue to do that. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Or you can learn what you need to learn. Mm -hmm. All right. To create the life and the business that you truly desire. Okay, mm -hmm. it's all there in the Success Academy. Type success and type in success the in the comments or go to. The million dollar plumber.com forward slash success mm -hmm. for your free mm -hmm. 14 day trial. True. All right, so check it, it out. True. All right, there we go. All right, I want to remind you also before I let you go that you were purposely and wonderfully created and you were created to do great things. So plumb like a champion. Thank you for tuning in to Potty Talk Live with Richard Bainey, the million dollar plumber. If you enjoyed this show, share it now. Just do it. To catch past episodes and get alerts for new episodes, turn notifications on now. And join us again for more tips, techniques, and strategies to help you grow your plumbing business.